What's up my people? So I'm back with another video. And people, as usual, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. And also, click that thumbs up for me please and thanks. So, I'm going to get into the first thing I'm going to share with you guys. Judge denies proposal to determine integrity of phone recording in Beachy Store trial. Jamaica Supreme Court Judge Justice Chester Stamp Monday morning shut down a proposal from defense lawyers to have a vodier conduct to determine whether or not phone recording from one witness should become admissible in Everton, Beach Stout, McDonald and Azkaban's murder trial in the Home Circuit Court in Kingston. A vodier is essentially a trial that is held within a trial. I don't know if I call the name right, but it's spelled V O I D I V O I R D I R E. The trial will continue. There shall be no void here. Stamp declared a short moment ago, clearing the way for a new witness to take the stand at 2 p.m. Courtney, one of four attorneys representing Beachy Stout, pushed for the video to help determine the integrity of the voice recordings that allegedly contain conversation between Beachy Stout and Dan Valin Bobla Minot, a witness in the case. Courtney raised question about the chain of custody of the device which was used to capture and store over 100 phone recordings. Prosecutor Sophia argued that there was no clear-cut reason why the recordings should not become admissible and Justice Tam seemed to agree based on his ruling that the trial must go on. The two accused in the matter are on trial for the July 20. 2020 MURDER of Tonya MacDonald, who was Beachy Stout's second wife. Tonya was brutally STAB to DEATH and her body, which was eventually found on the Sherwood Forest Main Road in Portland beside her raised motor car, was partially burned. Minot, who is said to have provided the police with recordings, is currently facing a 19 and a half year prison sentence for his role in Tonya's K-I-L-L-I-N-G after he pleaded guilty to the crime, he made a deal with the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions and agreed to give evidence against Beachy Stout. According to Minot in his evidence in court, Beachy Stout promised him $3 million if he could M-U-R-D-E-R Tonya. Minot claimed that he was not capable of S-T-A-B-B-I-N-G anyone to death so he contracted Azkaban's a random man who he claimed to have met in a um, beach in Montchanil in Portland. Minot claimed that he and Barnes made numerous attempts to KIL Tonya and eventually succeeded on July 20, 2020. According to Minot in court, E. Nar Barnes received the bounty that was placed on Tonya's head. It was after Beachy Stout failed to pay him the $3 million that he decided to start recording him during phone calls. So you report your soya yeah, man. All of them for go down for the woman K-I-L-L-I-N-G. You saw me I say she did bad, she did a game trouble. All him did have to do, walk away and find a next girl. You know how much girl would have there with him? You saw me I say you know how much woman would have want him? All him have to do have to walk away from her. You know what I mean? But you see when you love somebody, it's hard for walk away still, you know. But just man up and do it for the betterment of you. You understand me? I say people. So let me know what you guys think. Construction worker fear dead after house collapse in Pembroke Hall. The body of a construction worker is believed to be trapped under rubbles after a house he was reportedly working on collapse in Pembroke Hall St. Andrew on Monday morning. The Duane Park Police are currently at the location where an excavator is being used to remove the rubble to locate the man's body. His identity and cause of the building's collapse are yet to be revealed. More information soon. So as soon as I get some information on these people, I give you guys an update. You know what I mean? What do you the earthquake go on? Maybe shake up some places. Maybe this is one of the buildings that will get shake up and frail. And maybe them are going to make over. You understand? I can't stroke it better and stronger. And he have to tear down on him. So hopefully, them pull him out alive. You understand? So as I say, as soon as I get more information, 
me i go give you guys two men s-h-o-t dead in downtown kingston so a short while ago this happened my people crime scene detectives are currently probing the m-u-r-d-e-r of two men on princess street in downtown kingston the men who were reportedly s-h-o-t and k-i-l-l sometime after 12 noon on monday uh, the deceased have been identified by their aliases as Grabberman and K-I-L-L-Y. Killy Killy then. Seen several businesses in the area have reportedly been affected since the shooting. More to come. As soon as there's an update on this to people, I'm going to give you guys. So make sure so you subscribe to the channel so you can get an alert whenever anything new is on the channel. Whether I go live or I put up a video. You see it. American couple arrested and GU in charge in ANOVA. A husband and wife, both American citizens, are now facing GU and related charges after a Glock pistol was found inside their home on Friday. The duo, the duo 47 year old Jeffrey Farbs and 50 year old, um, something that read Farbs has been charged with possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of a prohibited um of prohibited ammunition following the seizure of the gun and 26 rounds of ammunition at their home in Key valley district in green island Alova. jeffrey is a farmer and his wife a nursing assistant they are both of handsome oak drive south carolina and Anova addresses Reports from the police are that about 12.30 p.m. lawmen acting on information searched their home and found the weapon and ammunition underneath a bed. They were later taken, to, they were later taken into custody and charged on November 5 after a question and answer session. Their court date is being finalized, the police said. People, me can be them liar. You saw me I say? Yeah, man, me can be them liar. The only thing the liar want to go in a court and say, them are protect themselves. Yeah, man, that's all the liar need for, 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 for go in a court and say, and make sure you do your research before you go in a court, whoever will become them liar or whoever is their liar. Make sure you do your research and bring evidence of returning residents and tourists in Jamaica being killed and robbed. That's all you need to go in there and say. Them two persons here, me sure say, them no plan for use the machine there and rob nobody. Me sure say, them no plan for use the machine there and dash with nobody unless them are try to hurt them. The people them maybe hear about all of the killings and all these things in a jamaica and decide to them now go be at their home empty-handed if somebody try to do them something because they are target them are returning residents them know what can happen to them so me know say them have that just for protection me sure say them have that you know i mean i'm gonna swear for nobody but i me almost sure say them have that for protection. You see me I say? So make me know one thing, people. See? Unidentified man, S-H-O-T and K-I-L-L in Spanish town. The St. Catherine North police are trying to ascertain the identity of a man who was S-H-O-T and killed in Spanish town in the parish on Sunday night. It is reported that about 7.30 p.m., the man was on Burke Road when a Toyota Mark X motor car approached an S-H-O-T S were fired from the vehicle which sped away from the scene. It was later revealed that the man who was about 5 feet 6 inches long in blue pants, black shirt and multicolored sneakers was SHOT and injured. He was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. No motive has been established in the incident. So people, just let me know what you guys think about this so yesterday we see this article with this 82 year old man from clarendon him get caught up and drop out seen so this is a follow-up 
where the police them say their theory is that them did a fight over land and people you see all folks in a jamaica you know where them cost most about house and land all people in a jamaica cost most about house and land so me no know what go on yes sir but he look like same own family member rushing upon him and build him up and him drop out see so me have a look audio me have a play it that's saying that they did not see the attacker the investigation is still in its early stages uh, the motive we are not sure yet but we are working on that but um one of the things that we, we know is that well this one is considered a very miserable person and i know that he was in some form of conflict with family members as it relates to property and so forth but the investigation is still in its early stages so you see it people them say he was a miserable person and that are typically old people you know what i mean them are going to cuss over land you see me i said this man a 80 yard make him live out him days no matter how he go on or no matter where he say make him live out him days man you see me i say this is sad and for your own family member do it it's even worse you see it so people leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys think judge people you say if you argue with family even friends or anything over property you know what i mean house and them something there you see if you can move on and avoid the argument do it because at that weird no family end up dirt them own overland and us you see me i say so just leave your comments people and let me know what you think and like the video people may i ask you to please give this a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and after you subscribe please click that top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel seen so people jano a lucky thing say me say me, me check this thing here before me end this video you know, before me close out the video you know. and people this me just see update judge allowed void there in beachy store trial so you see the article let me just share with you guys about the judge um not allowing them to do the void there with we mean a trial within a trial so they might go, go to trial right now for determine whether or not them are go put in the recordings the over 100 recordings in a evidence against beachy stout are them now go put it in a in a the, the evidence none at all seen so them rule say boy yes them are going to do the trial in a the trial for determine whether or not them add the recordings to evidence seen so subscribe my people and click the like button and bless upon yourself and thanks for watching